This is the story of five men who were the product of a long and bloody war. Five men who turned their backs on the Confederate cause to run. History has a name for the man who runs in the face of battle, deserter. But to the rank and file of the men in the Confederate lines, he was called... the others. There weren't none. Where are your men, Colonel? Your scout spoke the truth. I am alone. He ain't alone. He's come to take us in. The very last one of us. Let's get, Sarge, what we can get. Hold it, Johnny. How come you're on our trail just now? That I think would be business of my own. Under the circumstances, Colonel, uh, whoever you are, I'm afraid it's our business, too. The wise officer always realizes the advantages of a tactical withdrawal. I'm here to meet the man to whom this letter was addressed. I trust at least one of you men can read. What's it say, Sal? Who is he here for? The Seminole named Yellow Cat. <laughs> to the Seminole named Yellow Cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, ain't this cozy like? Sergeant, I suppose there's some reason for this laughter. <laughs> There's your reason, Colonel. <laughs> the Seminole named Yellow Cat <laughs> will guide the bearer of this letter from the point of rendezvous <laughs> to a direct westerly course through those countries known as the Everglades. To a point here marked by the sea for dispatch aboard the British blockade runner HMS Redoubtable to the Cuban Islands. <laughs> for safety from the ravages of war between the Confederate and the United States of America. <laughs> just like ours. If it ain't just like ours. And him a colonel buying his way out of the ranks just like us. Well, now that you've had your humor, I see no further need of my staying here. I'm going to find my guide. Go on, look for him. But you won't find him. We've been all over here looking for him, Colonel. There is no yellow cat. Your papers are as worthless as mine. 400 miles. 400 miles from this. 
supply arrangements will leave. The conduct I paid for to the sea didn't include deserting scum from the ranks. Whether you bought it from a company bootlegger or a blue-nosed lawyer, don't make much difference, Colonel. There's all classes of scum. I'll leave you, gentlemen. I prefer my own company to the sea. Now, hold on, Colonel. You and your high and mighty wives. You're something, ain't you? Credentials all proper like. Just like ours. Uh, let me tell you, I don't believe a word of it. I don't like the smell of you. Flinch one muzzle, take one breath, and I'll open you from head to toe. I know your kind. I've led you miserable cards when I've seen you run. Miserable bargain you were for the Confederate cause. A foreign, eh? Aye. English. Mercenary. I fight wherever I fight. And you'll run whenever you can run. Cards, the lot of you. Running pants high fast from the battle. Got your insides full and you quit. Well, go on and run. I'm better off without you. And so am I. Now, wait a minute, Colonel. And whatever you think of us, there's safety in numbers. How far could you get in this stuff? There's no turning back. Sarge, there's enough of us without him. Let him go, Sarge. Let him die in this stinkhole. <laughs> Get us to the blockade runner. How are we gonna get to them Cuban islands and wait till this smelly war blows over? We'll have to try it alone. Let's move.
damn. Buzzards. Sounds like we're crazy trying to get through this jungle by ourselves. Nobody forces you to come with us. You got to stay back there by myself. We ain't got a chance. I know we ain't. I'm going back. Go back? Go back alone and have them buzzards feeding on my bones, you crazy? Then stay here and shut up. Nasty air, Colonel. What makes you think you're cock robin, eh? You're not a mite better than the rest of us. Not a mite. If you're going to be taking orders again, I say we might as well be back and fighting in the blasted war. That's what I say. And if we wanted to do that now, we wouldn't be here, would we? As I see it, I figure my rank's as good as yours. And the same goes for the rest of us. Ain't that so? Well, ain't it? He's a deserter just like the rest of us. Do you want him giving orders? I say no. I say yes. You say what? I said yes. We need a leader. We can't go stumbling through these jungles and expect to stay alive unless we're organized. It takes a leader to do it. Good, good. That's fine. On for that, I am. Sure, I'll leader. What do you say, Plunkett? Ain't the Sarge our leader? We got to have one, that is. Cockney's right. You're our leader, Sarge. Say, what did I tell you? How about you, kid? What do you say to having the Sarge to lead us? Well, sure. I wouldn't follow anybody except the Sarge. Now, that's what you think. You fools. Snaggle-headed lumpheads. You want to live? You shiver and quake in your pants at every shake of a leaf. But you're too big for a real leader, huh? Well, let me tell you. And soak this up with your sponge-headed brains. You're going to have a leader. And the colonel's going to be your leader, and you're going to follow him. Because I say you are. Because I want to live through this rotten mess. And with him, we stand a chance. And that's that. <laughs> That's it, Colonel. You're the leader. Just two minutes, Sergeant Todd. I admire your control over the men. I wasn't fortunate enough to have a sergeant like you in my command. But you've overlooked one little detail in this whole affair. I don't want to be the leader. You don't want to lead? I believe I spoke quite clearly. I'll put it another way. If I wanted to lead, I'd be back fighting a war. If I wanted to lead, I wouldn't want miserable, quavering, filth-infested scum like this in my command. <laughs> now, would you go ahead and lead the men, Sergeant Todd? I'll just come along on my own. I prefer that. best you can. Not your pictures again, eh? Yeah. Want to look at some? Nah, I've seen them enough, I have. Mind you, I like my women as much as you do, Plunk. But looking at pictures of them satisfies me up to a point. But I ain't quite enough. These is French pictures. Ah, uh, you're loony. Hey, get out and leave me be. Ah, uh, leave your be with your, your picture card women. Them's the only kind of women you'll ever have. Make something of it, Cockney. Ah, uh, there ain't no cause for you to be getting hot and fighting about it. I ain't come to talk to you about your pictures, anyhow. All right. Spill it. It's about the Colonel. Mm-hmm. Anything special you notice about him lately? All I know is I'd like to cut his heart out and throw it in his face. I smelled whiskey on his breath. 
I'll give you all these are drunk. You're bad. He's a drunkard, I tell you. He's probably the famous drunken colonel from Murfreesboro. To my mind, a drunkard ain't a fit leader. Oh, thieving, looting, even murdering. None's as bad as being a drunkard when you're a leader. Now, ain't that so bloody... stealing that gold from the Confederate Army and getting chased all the way across Virginia and getting shot at all the way down here to Florida just to let you steal it away from me. Next time I find you trying any of your tricks, you won't have any need for gold after I get through with you. Now, get! Go on, get! direction I'm coming the next time. And get this. I ain't followed you all the way down here to give up that easy. So take my advice, Plunk. Watch your go. Or I'll be getting it before you have a chance to spend it. <laughs> Try getting this gold. You'll get this. <laughs> No sign of fresh meat either. We ain't going to either with all of us making all kinds of noise through the brush. But I've seen signs. There's plenty of game out there. Ain't no ways of catching them without shooting. I'll bet you I could get a coon, Sarge. Why, there ain't a coon in Georgia what ain't been treated by me. Let the boy have a shot, Sergeant. If there are Seminoles about, they know we're here. The shot won't make any difference. They are Seminoles round. Why we seen them? Why if they caught up with us? Why should they try to kill us? 
Every growing, living thing can do it for them. While they stand by and watch. And they are watching. Watching every move we make. Five brave, undaunted soldiers. Fighting every crawling into green. It must be quite a comedy. Yeah, he's drunk. Watch your remarks, soldier. Beg your pardon, Colonel. The drunken Colonel from Murfreesboro. That was some charge, weren't it, Colonel? And if I recollect correctly, weren't there some confusion as to which way you was charging? Unless the private knows something about military tactics, I suggest he keep his rotten mouth shut. Well, I know this about him. When a private retreats when he should have charged, he gets shot. He gets shot for other things, too. Sounds like a kid got something. We better move on. Like that tune, Sarge? Yeah, sure. sure. All us boys know that when we left Georgia. When we started off, we was all singing it. How many were there in your outfit? Ooh, under the reckon. A hundred wet-faced kids bleeding Georgia blood in Virginia. What? Nothing. Just thinking of them dying. We sure had an outfit, though. Jackson says it was as good as most of them. Me, I was doing picket duty most of the time. But I hear tell how brave they was. Ain't much time to being brave between a gunshot and the time it hits. They was brave. I know they was. All right, so they were brave. They ran up and tickled a Yankee's nose before they got their heads blown off. Being brave didn't keep them alive, did it? Maybe I'm sick of hearing about brave men. Tired of hearing about the way they die. Tired of hearing them scream and seeing them fall. Maybe I'm just about sick of killing. That's why you're deserted, ain't it? Let's get some sleep. Sarge, sometimes what you say don't make sense. I mean, I heard tell about how brave you was, and, well, I reckon that's why I followed you, but... Oh, I guess it does make sense. 
But it sure is confusing. scared to death. <laughs> it could have killed him. Some people can't take things like that. Now leave him alone.
Seminoles. Let's get out of here. Sarge, ain't they got to be buried? Those men ain't been dead very long. That means Seminoles can't be too far away. He's right, Sergeant. These men deserve decent burial. I'm for getting out of here. Me too. Let's get. Well, there's no military regulation that says you must bury these men. But there's a code, code of common decency, especially among fellow soldiers. And who's going to bury us? Besides, we ain't soldiers no more. We're deserters, and so are they. It's each man for himself in these conditions. I guess that's the way it stands, Colonel. Run for your lives. I'll stay and do what's decent. Now, well, kid, come on, let's go. Listen. 
Melissa! Melissa! He's getting delirious again. Uh, leave him be. He was getting worse. Oh, let's leave him behind. He's just gonna slow us down and then... and then die someplace else. As long as he can walk, he's coming with us. Correction, Sarge. He's coming with you. I ain't having nothing to do with nobody that's as good as dead. Yelling like a blooming banshee. He scared the liver out of me. He's gonna die. I know it. Once that fever gets in your blood, it eats you up dead. He ain't never gonna get to Cuba. Sometimes I wonder... just who is getting to the sea. I am. I'm getting to them islands where I can start living again. With all them Spanish girls and all. Boy, that's really gonna be something. Reckon with what I got, I'll be living high for some time. Looking forward to that, ain't you, Plunkett? Spending it all by yourself. What a shame. We ain't quite there yet, are we? Not quite. We still got a lot ahead of us. I wait, you and I. <laughs> Listen. You hear that? I don't hear nothing. It's on the wind, like. Hear it? What's doing it? They're attacking us, boy. They're attacking us. It's the whole green hell turned on us. Hear it? Every groaning tree, every gnarled root and limb. Break us.
Seminoles. Could be deserters like us. I'm gonna find out. You stay here. I'll scout it. Seminoles got him. And in my opinion, there ain't no point in waiting. Trouble is, there's smokes between us and the direction where we're going. Maybe we could follow his trail for a bit. We'd still be heading the right way. Let him stay. It's a good enough grave for him. Goodbye, Your Highness.
slimy Indian tricks. They got the Sarge in there. I know it. If they do, they're awful quiet about it. Oh, I say they already finished him off. Nothing we can do now. Let's go. No, let's stay. If they got Todd, the quicker we start moving, the better our chances will be. Oh. I ain't going. I'm staying. Then stay. Look out! 
looks like maybe we won. Don't seem to be no more lives coming all around. Well, we got to get out. They'll be back when it gets dark. To God, they don't see it. As good as dead if they do. We're as good as dead without a fire, Sarge. We'd be dead of lung fever and all this dampness. Move the Colonel a little closer. He's close enough. Mm. Trying to warm a dead man. This isn't the way he wanted to die. I don't know what we're carrying a corpse around for anyway. It ain't worth much. Right you are. I estimate it's worth uh, maybe a medal or two. A few Yankee green dollars. Say maybe ten. And a right fine gold watch. Real nice one, ain't it, gents? <laughs> you wall-eyed thief. You'd even rob the dead. Hey, I ain't dead yet. Besides. I don't think the Colonel would begrudge me a timepiece as a memento. Now, would he? <laughs> Did you leave the gold in his teeth? Well, that were a nasty remark it were, Sarge. Needless, too. He's got as nice a set of natural teeth as I've ever seen. I sure hate to see him die. It ain't natural here. Yeah, it's all the same, kid. Slip on a puddle, get a bullet hole in the spleen, or die rotten in a stinking jungle. All right, no difference. <laughs> Good. I wonder what he's thinking about. I wonder if he knows he's dying right now. Deep thoughts from you, Plunkett. Sort of amuses me, I reckon. Him and his officer's blue-blooded ways. I wonder if his thoughts is anything like mine would be. He ain't dying in some filthy wench's arms, like you'd be. The more to be pitied, Limey. The more to be pitied. I ain't never seen a colonel die afore. Goes easy like, though, don't he? Just like he was a regular one of us. It ain't easy, kid. He's fighting to live like all of us would. Every breath he's fighting for. And fighting the coldness in his veins. He hates to die, too. Right, gentlemen. 
You're so right. Don't let me disturb you, gentlemen. Please. The voice of the day. You wouldn't disturb the staff. I'd like to quench this thirst. Sergeant. Yes. You'd be good enough to bring me a bottle for my case. You hear me, Sergeant? Right here, sir. Right here, sir. The devil with you, Sergeant. Where's the fire? Where's the burn? My whiskey blast you. I'm wounded, aren't I? Yes, sir. What is it, a minute? The grape? Where is it? In the back. In the back. An officer sergeant is in wounded in the back. An officer doesn't... Where's the remedy, doctor? Orderly! Get the stinging surgeon, blast you! What was Al coming? Did they run? Something so satisfying, gentlemen, in seeing the Yankees run. Were there any prisoners? Re reckon not, Colonel. Killed all the blue noses, eh? Not a prisoner in the lot. Go to work, Shadow. And go. <laughs> and we will have number two, won't we? Takes one southern boy to lick ten Yankees. Hey, Sergeant? Make your report to my orderly. Tell him, here. Yeah? Yes, sir. I'll make the report. Would the colonel care to lie down, sir? Huh? To the sergeant. Sergeant. Sergeant, what the devil's the name of this place? What works are these? Well, it's Murfreesboro, Colonel. Murfreesboro. It isn't. Here, here, Sergeant. It is. Terminal of the staff has been a mistake. I was ordered to retreat. It was an order, do you hear? I didn't run. I tell you, gentlemen, I didn't run. I took the men out. I took them out, I tell you. I had to. They were chopping them up like meat. Well, they were using cannon with grape. Twelve pounders. It was slaughter, gentlemen. Slaughter. This is indeed an honor, sir. On behalf of my brave boys, young gentlemen of the South, I accept, sir. You know, it's odd, General. The skirmishes I've been in so far have been so no account. This is my first major campaign. I've been hoping for this. I'll display it on the mantle at Marino. A lot of fine men have come from there, General. Proud men. This is indeed an honor, General Lee. Thank you, sir. seen a colonel die, kid. Now, let's go. Seminoles are looking for us for sure now. We've got to get to the sea fast. From now on, it's every man for himself. I'm not risking my neck no more.
the river. Sarge! Sarge! It's Sully. I just tasted it. It is brackish. Maybe it'll lead to the sea. Uh, Sarge, Sarge, uh, uh, maybe we ought to take a break. Uh, we've been hitting an awful tough pace. Sure, take a break. Take all the breaks you want. You're on your own. I'm moving. Uh, uh, Sarge! Lead to the sea. Yeah, it sure looks like it. Uh, I'll believe it when I see it. Can't you read a compass no more? What are you trying to do? Lead us around by the end of your nose? No. By the sun when I can see it. I ain't got a compass. I lost it. Trying to lead us through the jungle without a compass? Why well, you lame brain, stupid idiot? I want to... Rattlesnakes. Nest them.
please, Sarge, please. Uh, maybe it's the way them snakes got cut me. Maybe it's what we've been going through all this time. Maybe it's this is creeping and crawling jungle all around us, but I can't take it no more. Honest, no, Sarge, look, I, I don't know what's come over me, but I'm scared still. I, I'm so scared, I think I'm going crazy. Look, if you're Bill enough to ask me to take care of you, don't. You stay here and be scared. No, no, sir. Just let it follow you, that's all. Just let it follow you, that's all I want to do. Let it follow River crossing were just great. Boy, you sure know how to beat this jungle. We never would have made it without you. No, no, I want you to know that I owe my life to you. I never would have made it alone. It's up to you, Sarge. It's up to you. Just please, don't leave me be alone. Please, Sarge, please. Look, if you fall back, you're on your own. No, no, no. They'll, they'll get me, Sarge. All them horrible, sneaking, murdering things around us here will get me. They're afraid of you, but they know I'm scared, and they're going to get me, Sarge. Look, Sarge, I, I got a secret. I, I don't want anybody else to know about it, but you. I got gold. Lots of gold. I stole it from the army. <laughs> Are you going to be rich, Sarge? You're going to be rich. I don't want your gold. It, you're going to be rich, Sarge. Yes, sir. I don't want any part of it. It's all yours. Yes, sir. It's all yours. Just get me out of here alive. That's all I ask. Just get me out. And, and look, I'll even let you have my girl pictures. My real, genuine French girl pictures. But look at this gold, Sarge. Look at it. It's all yours. <laughs> Cut me! Cut me to my 
Yeah, I get tired. I'm so tired of running, I'm sick. Sick to my stuff. You wouldn't know, wet face. You ain't done enough to run away from. Followed me, kid. You shouldn't have started running. I've been running ever since I know it how. Running from everything I never liked. And I reckon there ain't much to like around this world. So I've been running so long, I don't know how to stop. It don't do much good when you stop and figure why you're running. It catches up to you. You can't run away from yourself. Don't run away from nothing, kid. That don't do no good. You get so tired, you, you want to die. Don't run away from nothing, kid. 
get so easy, you can't stop. You get so tired, you want to die. <laughs>